Welcome to the June block of our Block of the Month 2023. You can make a 10-inch block or a 5-inch finished block. For this block, you need four fabrics, a light, a medium, an accent, and a dark. The pattern for both sizes is at the end of the video. For now, it's time to cut. From the light fabric, cut two rectangles that are 2.5 inches by 6.5 inches. You also need one square that is 5 inches by 5 inches. You will bisect this square corner to corner to get two triangles. You will use one of the triangles in the block. You also need to cut four squares that are 3 inches by 3 inches. From the medium fabric, you need to cut six squares that are three inches by three inches. From the accent fabric, you need to cut two squares that are three inches by three inches. From the dark fabric, you need to cut one square that is six and seven eighths inch by six and seven eighths inch. Bisect this square corner to corner, you will use one of those triangles. You also need to cut three squares that are two and seven eighths inch by two and seven eighths inch. Bisect these each corner to corner for six triangles. You will use five of them in the block. I save my extra triangles so that I can hopefully use them in a future block. As I was cutting my pieces for this block, I noticed that my mat was starting to get all these little flakes in it from little fabric fibers. So I decided it was time to clean my mat. We have a special little tool that we use. I just got it in at the shop and it is great. You just scrub your mat with it, little circular motions. And then when you're done, all you have to do is rinse it off in the sink with a little water and it's cleaned off. Unless directed otherwise, please piece using quarter inch seam allowances. With the right sides together, match up the six medium squares with the four light squares and the two accent squares. I'm going to use my diagonal seam tape to sew a quarter inch away from a center line that goes from corner to corner. If you don't have diagonal seam tape or a similar product, you can simply draw a line corner to corner on the wrong side of the light fabric and sew a quarter inch away from the line on both sides of the line. If you're enjoying our 2023 Block of the Month, we hope you'll remember to hit the like button, share the project with your quilting friends, and subscribe so that you don't miss any of the future blocks. Once you're done sewing, you're going to cut between the two lines. Before I press, I'm going to also sew the small dark triangles onto the ends of the 2.5 by 6.5 inch light rectangles. You want to have one that points to the left and one that points to the right. You will press these units to the dark fabric. For all of the half square triangle units, you will press away from the light fabric. You will have eight half square triangle units made from the light and medium fabrics. You will only use seven of them in the block. You will have four of the accent and light fabric half square triangle units. 
you will use three of these in the block. Save your leftover half square triangle units for a future use. Trim all of the half square triangle units to two and a half inches by two and a half inches. My favorite tool for squaring up these units is the block lock ruler. You use the channel on the back side of the ruler to lock onto the seam and keep the block stable. Piece three of the light and medium combination half square triangle units together that will point to the lower left and four units together that will point to the lower right. In each of our block videos, we are showing the three different colorways that we are working on. If you're working on a different colorway, share your ideas in the comments section below. We'd love to hear what you're working on. Next, we're going to use the accent and medium half square triangle units with the small dark triangles to make the rows that will make a larger triangle. Now it's time to press. You are going to press both of these from right to left. I a lot of times will press from the back side first just to get the seams to go the right direction and then I will press it from the front just to make it lay a little flatter. For the rows with the triangle units, you are going to press away from the triangle on the version that has the three pieces and towards the triangle on the two piece section. It's all finally starting to come together. First we're going to make the large triangle made for the pieces. Sew the rows together and then press. After pressing, trim the little dog ears off the side of the triangle. Piece the large dark triangle to this unit and then you will press towards the large dark triangle. The resulting square should measure six and a half inches by six and a half inches. At this point, I like to trim the little dog ears off and I just use my little scissors and snip them right off. I'm just going to do a quick little finger press here instead of getting the iron out. Piece the unit that has the three half square triangle units to the left side or the top side of the big triangle unit and press towards the big triangle unit. If you've been pressing as shown, these seams should nest together. You can also pin if that makes you more comfortable. All these seams should go the same direction 
And then when you piece on the unit that has the four half square triangle units, all those seams should nest together to make the sewing easy. If not, you can pin. I tried my hardest not to have to pin, but sometimes you just have to do it. Before I head to the ironing board, I am going to sew on one of the base units to the opposite side of the four half square triangle unit. Press both of these sections away from the center of the block. After this, there's just two more seams to sew. Piece the other base unit to the other side of the block. I'm just going to trim the dog ears off right here and then I'm going to finger press the seam. Now it's time to add the last corner. Place the light triangle so that its triangle corners go from white corner to white corner. A little bit of the dark fabric may show. Sew the quarter inch seam following the light triangle. Once you've sewn the triangle in place, you can trim off the extra fabric. You can also trim the block first and then add the corner, whichever method works best for you. Press towards the corner when you're all done. This block should measure 10 and a half inches by 10 and a half inches. Trim as necessary. Here are my 10 inch and five inch block done in the 30s fabrics, aren't they cute? And here is my red and white version. I did a little bit different coloring in this one with a light colored basket. And then there's my Christmas blocks. We hope you remembered to hit the like button, leave a comment, share with your quilting friends, and subscribe. A downloadable version of this pattern may be found in the files section of our Facebook group called The Quilted Forest Friends. Or you can push pause and take notes, or take screenshots and print at home. Thanks for watching and happy quilting!